Hey, welcome to Life in the God Lane, my YouTube channel, to help you keep your life in God's lane so you can honor him and be a blessing to others. This is some power verses for the day for Monday, April 25th, 2022. And I call this, He Lights Up Your Life. It's from John chapter 1, verses 4 and 5. Now, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. I uh, hit hit the the bell to get notified every time I roll one of these out. I put something out every day, seven days a week. Uh, make comments, give me thumbs up, share this video with someone else. Do all you can to help me get this out to as many people as I can. I'm just going to teach the Bible, try to develop, first of all, the knowledge of Christ in people's lives, and develop a biblical worldview in a country that needs it in a desperate way. When I was junior high age, I went to the to the movies every Friday night. It's what we always did, every Friday night. Why? Well, it was the, the social event for kids my age. And that was that was the big deal in Flagstaff, Arizona, where I was raised. It was it was fun to go there, and maybe hang out with my buddies, cause a little trouble. That that's when we really had fun. This all happened at the Orpheum Theater in downtown Flagstaff, Arizona. This was 1960, 61, 62, and uh, all the theaters in those days were single. No multiplexes like today. A different world, way different world. Like I, I almost liked it better. But the great thing about Friday is this. It was a double feature. You got two movies, and they take a break between them and spin a wheel and have a little a little uh, uh, a drawing where you get a prize if you won if you won the the drawing. But what one of our favorite tricks when we wanted to cause a little trouble would be that a bunch of us, me and my buddies, would get inside the dark theater and we'd spread out all over the theater, you know. And then one guy would cough, <coughs> and then another guy would cough, and then another, and another, and another, and all of a sudden. You got eight or ten guys choking and gagging as loud as they could, totally disrupting the movie. And there's been times when they'd stop the movie and turn on the lights. What did we do? Stop coughing <laughs> and just sit there. Nobody could catch us. The the darkness when they turned those lights on, it was eliminated by the light. And it could darkness cannot stand when the light comes on, okay? And they'd light up the whole place, look for us, couldn't find us. Look at John 1, 4, and 5. John chapter 1, verses 4 and 5. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. And that word understood probably is better translated, cannot overcome it. It can't, it can't stand in it because light defeats darkness. That's the nature of things. So he talks about him. Who is him? Well, him is the word that spoke the universe into existence. Life was in the word. Why? He spoke life into existence. He created life. He spoke it into existence. We looked at that, I think, in, in, in one of the last uh, messages that we did. The life the word spoke and created is the light of men. Life from God is what lights up all of our lives. We wouldn't have any light without life from God, which the word spoke into existence in our lives. Life from God, the word was and is the light of men. We need to remember that. The word still breathes life into mankind as he did at creation. That life lights up the world, lights up the world as it lights up people. Darkness, darkness comes from sin when Adam and Eve fell off into sin and the rest of us have been stuck with the darkness of sin since. But the word came to earth as Jesus and he died to pay for our sin then was raised from the dead to give life to those who put their faith in him, defeat death and bring light and life, life and light into our lives. 
when that happens, God's light from a new birth life penetrates the darkness of sin and wrecks it. And as the lights in the Orpheum wreck the darkness, those nights when we cause trouble, so life from Jesus still destroys darkness today. So let him light up your life. He will. I'll talk to you tomorrow.